City College, nestled on the banks of the river Musi in Vermilion, is testimony to a glorious past. Established in 1921 with 30 students by the seventh Nizam, Mir Usman Ali Khan, it is 101 years old today and is growing from strength to strength. Flanked by the High Court on one side and the majestic Usmania Hospital opposite, the trio make a statement on Indo-Saracenic architecture, so resplendent of those times when Islamic and Hindu motifs were embedded in buildings. Designed by Vincent J. Esch, the City College, with its steep stairs, galleries, wooden panels, and open yards, looks more like a palace. What makes the college unique is it exudes an old-world charm with modern education. It, however, actually started as Madrasa Dar ul Uloom in 1865 by the sixth Nizam, Mabu Ali Khan, and once it was shifted in 1921 to the present premises. There was no looking back. Initially, intermediate was introduced as it was called in those days as PUC, and consequently, degree courses were added. After witnessing hundred summers, the college has taken a beating, but it has been restored. Navin Mittal, Commissioner of Collegiate Education, Government of Telangana, says everything possible is being done to keep the glory of the college, whether on the restoration front or pedagogy. Recently, new and rare courses. were added and in all 54 undergraduate courses are offered at the moment city college turned 100 last year but has taken fresh guard and is all set for a double yeah as you all know that government city college is a much preferred college in telangana state is having more than 80 faculty and uh, almost 50% of them are having their phd degrees and 10 members are pursuing their phd and all these uh, uh, phd holders or non phd holders uh, they meet all the academic needs of the college and uh, in future the college is planning to establish research centers in social sciences and also in physical sciences and uh, general sciences and the college building is 100 years old uh, which is not ready to meet the needs of 4500 students it could not accommodate so the college is planning to have additional classrooms uh, in the campus itself Uh, so that uh, we can have state of art uh, laboratories computer laboratories and other ict facilities to meet the needs of this uh, um, after pandemic we all know that definitely a college should be equipped with all the digital materials the college is getting ready to have all those as such the teachers are uh, well trained in the uh, through fdps in the how to use the digital materials to benefit the student uh, community uh, the government city college is uh, a part of a glorious rich history of hyderabad state the idea of a city college actually began as a high, uh, school uh, it's actually began as a madrasa uh, it's called madrasa darul uloom uh, which was actually uh, founded by the sixth nizam uh, mahbub ali khan as early as 1865 as early as 1865 and then the seventh nizam uh, nizam usman ali khan later it converted it into a high school and uh, in 1921 the present building uh, was constructed it's one of the finest pieces of indo saracenic architecture in the entire hyderabad state so in 1921 uh, the school was moved to this particular building and with a section of intermediate so it became a college Uh, in 1929 it became a college a complete college of intermediate and then in 1956 uh, the puc courses were introduced in this college and in 1962 uh, the bachelor courses were introduced in college uh, in this particular college and in 65 it was uh, named as government city college so this is uh, what, the chief engineer uh, who constructed this beautiful building is mirza akbar beg uh, he was the chief engineer of this uh, construction Uh, as i said it was one of the finest pieces of indo saracenic architecture uh, and it boasts of some of the illustrious alumni uh, who served the country and in abroad uh, i mean some of the most notable alumni uh, include the union ministers the former union ministers uh, shri sivraj patil garu and uh, shri p shivshankar garu and then it actually uh, had chief ministers like sb chavan shri sb chavan garu and virendra patil garu and marichana reddy garu 
and then uh, you know ministers like uh, Indra Reddy Garu, Indra Sena Reddy Garu, and then uh, not just in politics but also uh, in the field of sports, you have Archid Ayub who is one of the uh, finest uh, alumni of this college, and then you have uh, some of the notable film personalities like J.K. Bharavi. Uh, Parchuri Gopal Krishna Garu and then Utej Garu uh, who are some of the illustrious alumni of this college and uh, it produced innumerable number of doctors, engineers, scientists who served in various positions in various governments in our country and in abroad. Government City College has become a well chosen college not because of its uh, historical significance but because of various streams and various courses that are being offered in this college. So particularly uh, this college previously during academic year 1920 has offered 38 courses which has gone up to 55 last year and currently this year we have accommodated 63 courses and we are able to cater admissions to 1500 each year. Uh, put together, we have 4,500 students in this college and we have multiple options here through different buckets. They, they can choose various courses like, you know, through MOOCs, we are offering uh, mass communication, journalism and uh, geography, psychology, journalism, which are the rarest courses, which has been the dream of many students to have this course has become fructified in Government City College. Compared to uh, Koti Women's College and an Nizam College, though they are directly the Usmania University constituent colleges, but comparatively, we have more options, more strength in the college because of the various options this college is uh, offering. Apart from the academics, we have NSS, two units we have, and most of the students are enrolling and we have NCC here that is exclusive of Government City College which has given employment to so many and uh, NCC is giving, you know, uh, is uh, fetching C grades for so many students and they are finding jobs. So many of the employees in uh, cities and in various places are from Government City College using NCC and all. And now coming to uh, the courses, especially in BCom, in uh, cities, most of them go for uh, BCom, but now the trend has changed to BA because of multiple options they are able to find. Previously, we had only history, political science, economics, but a student can also opt mathematics along with uh, history and various other options like economics, journalism, mass communication and so on. And especially in BCom, apart from the traditional BCom, this college is offering uh, foreign trade, business analytics uh, and various other uh, new combinations like computer applications. We have 240 seats under become uh, computer applications, foreign trade we have, taxation, business analytics and become computers, become general English, Telugu and various other media we are able to offer in this college. And uh, currently this year we have started BA Honours Political Science exclusively and BA Honours Economics exclusively we could start. So because of this our college has become a, a great in great demand. This year we had to turn back so many students and though we had the admissions through those, but we came to know that so many were denied admission because there is a lot of demand for this college. Hello everybody, this is Swapna Thakur and I am pursuing my degree first year in Government City College and I am doing BCom CA. Before coming to this college, I have explored about this college like even the elders, even the neighbors near my college, uh, near my home said that this is a very good col college and after coming to this college, I have experienced it. Like studies wise, it is very good and besides studies, it has gave me so many opportunities regarding cultural activities and the NSS units and CC units are very good here. I have got a big opportunity to visit the National Integration Camp and uh, which gave me so many uh, 
so many experiences uh, which which will be helpful in my further life and uh, i think that this college is a best college to choose for everybody like it is not only in studies but also the other activities it gives very big opportunities and there is also an entrepreneurial cell which uh, which provides uh, the help to the one who has new business ideas and all and i think it is a very good college and i suggest all of you to join this college good morning everyone myself maria thar from ba second year the history of the college made me to choose government city college apart from the studies it gives uh, focuses on the other curricular activities to develop the student skills it gives opportunities uh, to bring certificates professional certificates the history of the college made a fame to the greater personalities for the spect all over the hyderabad street this is harpia poshin become second year government city college nayapur after completion of my intermediate there is a pressure in my mind like what to choose for degree so degree is one of the most major step in our life so instead in spite of all the blocks where we have apartment kind of building so i choose to pursue my degree in a friendly environment where we have a campus with a friendly department so there in such a search i found the name of city college which had its own impact in the history and as it is autonomous i felt it might be better for my career option so after coming here the stru structure of its itself made me uh, feel something strange and special after coming here its autonomous uh, structure as it uh, the it made us to learn better every day and instead it might be affiliated to ou but still its autonomous status what made us to inculcate to the external society and industries and all and me myself being a poet i i am the one who felicitated or like uh, benefited the more in here like i i came to meet many of the poets outside i, I was like i have given a great opportunity to showcase my passion in front of all the great poets like yakub sir i personally met him that was really a great experience and even melsin margaret ma'am and recently the what we have a kavi sammelanam here on the day of world poetry day that was the great uh, platform to meet all such kind of poets all across maybe it might not be possible for me personally so me being a student of this government city college has really made me to showcase to see the world outside and made me a lot to build in myself and it also drive me towards my passion